This channel and its content are purely for entertainment. If you happen to learn something, awesome. I'm not a professional mechanic, fabricator, HVAC tech, contractor, chef, etc. Take my advice loosely and use it if you like and agree. Otherwise, do it your way. Enjoy the video. So today we're out here at a friend of mine's house and uh, he's got a really neat thing. He's got some Starlink internet and we're going to see if we can get it set up and test it out and hopefully he's going to have better internet by the time we get done here. And there's the magic box. Hopeful. <laughs> I'm hopeful. You want to do an unboxing first? Absolutely. You want, you want to do that? Absolutely. All right. Well, let's, let's check this out. Now, this might turn into the Tig's going to rant because I've had my order in for a year and I still don't have the ability to get it yet, but... He's salty. I am. As you can see here, I've had my order in for over a year. Probably the first in my area, to be honest with you. But yet, I have people within a mile or two from my house that have already been able to order this and receive it, and I still haven't gotten an email. Smells like success. Another box. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Well, so far, it's underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, so far we haven't really seen anything. So. Okay, it's real. There's All actually right. a dish in there. Looks like the. Regular tri quad pod, quad pod, pod mount thing or whatever. There's the uh, new, uh, this is their Gen 2 version rectangular dish, which supposedly is a little cheaper for them to manufacture. And Here are the instructions. Hmm, okay, so we point it at the sun, plug it into an outlet, and put the app on your phone and Make it go. Here's the, I think the router here. Literally that is what it says. Yep, yep we got the router. And ain't that space age looking. Very neat. And then you got your cable and some kind of regulatory notices. Okay. Well, all right. We've seen, seen what we got, and then we got to go inspect and figure out where we're going to put this thing. So, oh yeah, thanks. All right. So, it's at 110 degrees. I'm unobstructed north. So, this would I'm be the great wide north. Here. Great wide north. No obstructions. So it turns out, putting it in the yard right there, there were some obstructions. It did work, and it seemed to work okay for a while, but it definitely had obstructions with that tree and that bush. So we did move it out further into the yard, and the results are not in on whether or not that really improved it. Um, I was thinking about ultimately putting it maybe a maybe a mount, but I you can't order from the Starlink store until your account's activated. So I couldn't, I didn't know what size I really needed uh, for that. But, uh, so anyway, I was thinking about this area. What's your thought? Yeah, I mean, I think this will work great right here for, you know, temporarily setting it up and just testing it out. Way to be optimistic, Turner time. It worked, but it did not work great right there. It definitely needed to be moved out further into the yard and probably even further from where it is right now. Okay. And then, yeah, I mean, obviously you want to get it off the ground at some point, but as long as your animals will leave it alone, I guess. Right. Well, that's it. That's what I thought too. So, uh, and now we do. My wife did cut this bush back today and we could, we could set it here as well, but I, I don't know. I'm open. 
maybe we'll move it around and see. I think there's an obstruction thing on the app. You know, yeah, it'll tell us. It'll move and adjust to the satellites. I think whenever you okay. plug it in, so we can okay. try it. I mean, wherever you think would be the safest place to leave it, your animals or whatever. I think. Or you? Are you going to take it after well, we set it up? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, if it disappears, you'll you'll know where it went. Okay, so I have a power outlet out here. Uh, on the porch and a weather uh, outlet, so and I, it looked like I had plenty of cable, right? So I could probably plug it in there. So the router, you probably want it inside, right? Yeah. So how are we going to get from inside to out here? Is the question. Uh, that's why I invited you over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's investigate that. All right, we're attempting to find a temporary spot to get this cable through so we can put Starlink in his house. Now, what you see here is I've shoved a screwdriver through here, and there's actually a wire extension cord, and it's going to the outside, so we're going to try to find that. He's got to dig out there, so we're going to see where we're at with that. We're going to hopefully be able to get to that. All right, you're hitting the screwdriver. Yeah, the screwdriver. Yep, there we are. I don't even have to dig down. It's right on top of the ground once I need the, once I need the leaves. All right. We at least have access to the outside now where we can pull this cable through. Okay, so as you can see, maybe it's a dark basement. We've got the cable ran out a hole, same hole that an extension cord's going out of. And we're going to attempt to take the other part that goes to the router part. And we're going to take this cable and we're going to run it up here. We're going to have to drill a hole here where we've got a blade running through there right now. So we can get it up to his first floor and into a corner of his dining room and plug it in. This is kind of a temporary setup, but uh, at least we'll get it up into the house so we can get it tested. So... We'll, we'll see how this goes. You know you're in an old basement when you see live wood. floor and into the dining room all right so we got the detachable cable on the dish side and it looks like a big usb and yeah it goes in upside down slides down into that slot and connects in Does it feel like it snapped in there good i don't know <laughs> oh, there, let me check it okay so we have to run the cable through this base first and then you plug it in and then whenever you want to disconnect it you just push this button back here so we got it ran through the bottom snapped into the base and you got a button there that'll let it loose if you need to disconnect it so this is just your set it on the ground or someplace secure kind of a base and then if you want to do roof mount or chimney mount or side mount then you deal with that later so we're gonna go uh plug it in I guess and see what it does all right so we got this router and it does have a detachable plug which generation one does not which is nice because this would have been almost impossible for us without having a detachable plug but it does have this beveled end on it and it's about an inch wide so when you're running a cable like that you're going to need a big hole or a good slot to get through in our case we were able to get it underneath the floor and in an existing hole that was kind of already there so this is a sort of temporary solution, but at least it's in the house and now it's gonna sit on top of the grandfather clock. And that thing, I think that is weather tight actually. And so I guess technically you could have that router outdoors. It's not really like waterproof, but it is sort of outdoor rated, but we're gonna have it in here. Right? All right, yeah. We Ready got to go it. next? We got it plugged in, yep. 
open the Wi-Fi settings. So you should be able to see if it's broadcasting Wi-Fi so you can connect your phone to. So let's see, go over your Wi-Fi. Oh, Starlink. It is. There's what we want. Connect Starlink. All right, we got a check mark. That's good. All right. Now, I have to log in. Uh, have to. So it says to enter, you have to name it, your network name. Yeah, this is going to be whatever your <coughs> broadcast ID is going and to be. And you can, and you select your own password. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's for whatever you want for your okay. house to connect your devices Pause it now, to. so you don't come over right. and log in. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, it's got my password on. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, that's oh. that was on purpose. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Don't remember. I need either. to know yeah. all passwords. I need to know all account numbers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm able to join Starlink. It's probably because I don't have an account yet. So, right. Uh, good question. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. You want to say yes? want to say okay. Allow. All right, so what are we doing here? It says it's online. That's a good sign. Yep. Visibility is there. We got One device. Mark. I'm assuming that's the phone because I haven't that's put right. my password on the TV yet, right? Right. Okay. So now. Do we want to know how fast it is? Yeah, check it. Hit the speed. Let's see what it does. Because we literally did nothing but log into it. I don't know if it moved. I guess we'll go out and look and see if the antenna moved. But well, it's already looking a lot better. It's a than really the... sweet number than the last one. <laughs> it's I can tell a lot you. better than Frontier. <laughs> oh my gosh! DSL. <laughs> you all should. <laughs> You all should cancel whatever rural one you have and get get on this list today. Look at that. I really I was I was getting two megabyte download and point four upload. Set. We're riding on the internet. The internet gave us a whole world of exciting new possibilities. For sixty bucks a month. Crazy. <laughs> oh, and actually, as it gets, it takes a few minutes to do its full potential. So I think this test is going to be low right now. It's actually going to be a lot more from what I've read. So yeah, I mean, you went over 100 megabits down, and it's uploading now. Maybe not. Maybe. <coughs> Maybe it's not able to upload anything. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what it's doing. But it's again, I, I what I read was that the speed test was kind of not correct at first. Oh. Um, because it took a little bit to acclimate itself and kind of tune into the satellites and everything. And then, so I don't know if maybe we just ran it prematurely. Maybe. I mean, the download sure looked good, but, and, and it looks like to me it's, I don't know what it's doing. I don't know, do you, do you swipe over or is it stuck or? Oh. Maybe. Oh, router. Not sure upload. What it, it seems like it's still in that mode, but. There's the or maybe that just was the test right there. It was <coughs> 62 meg up or 62 meg down and 5 meg up. Yeah. Um, maybe you hit the speed button. Or Twice. You, and maybe if you go back. So I don't know how you get back out of this. Do you scroll down with that, that there or how do you get? Or Okay. So well, now it says, now offline. It says it's offline. So it's searching again. So maybe it's still thinking about getting set up. No, oh, it's back online now. It may have just adjusted its satellites that it had to get on. I can't see from here. The dish really moving out there. No. I'm assuming it Give it another there, speed but... test. Let's just see what it does. It'll be worth every penny. 30 milliseconds latency. That's pretty awesome. You're going to get over 100. What does that say? Up. Uh, 16, 15, 15 14. 14. Leveling out at 14, 13. Yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. Better than 0.4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was glad before. <laughs> pretty sweet. Now, this is that second screen that didn't work earlier. Right. So I don't, I don't know what it was doing, but um, let's see what it does this time. Yeah, it looks like it's doing something this time. And again, like I said, I think you uh, 
after, you're supposed to wait a little while before you do all the testing while it's adjusting. So, oh, look at that. Holy crap. Can you read Turner time? It says that test is from the phone to the router, not to the internet, moron. All my friends were salty that I got it first, I can tell uh, you. They wouldn't even hardly talk to me at church. Uh, yeah. So, so, I mean, literally, I think we're done. I mean, I would say just go, you know, you can get out of the app at this point, I think, and just get on the internet and run a speed test on the internet. You got speed test app on your phone? No. Just go to Google and do type Google speed test. Let's just see what a speed test run from there. Just interested to see how that works. Just type in speed test. There you go. Just hit that up there. And hit that run speed test button. Wait. There we go. And this may not be completely accurate either, but it's just something to compare it to. So you're obviously getting 30 or 40 down, three or four up. I mean, that's like real internet. Real internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's not, I mean, again, that's not completely trustworthy either, but it's, a, it's something to look at. So. so here's the crappy service that we're removing in this situation. And replacing it with a Starlink. And you can see it's down right now currently. All right, we're going to do some TV testing here and we'll come back in a second. We are streaming 4K. That's a good thing. I don't know that we picked the best video, but it don't look bad. Looks pretty awesome. Looks pretty awesome to me. Goodbye, Frontier. That's no joke. Yeah, now you can actually enjoy your TV for what it is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, that looks like. You know, we actually, we actually invested more in the TV rather than buying the back then, the five, six hundred dollar one, you know, we actually spent like fourteen hundred because we knew we'd be watching it all the time and mm -hmm. and with the internet we never really were able to do that. So that's, yeah, really that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So how excited are you? I'm totally pumped now. Yes. <laughs> I'm all in. I'm all in. They're only yeah. half as excited as the kids though. Oh I know, yeah. They're up <laughs> on the PlayStation now, so yeah. Yeah. We're gonna hear about <laughs> ping times and latency here yeah. shortly, I think. Yeah, that's so, right. That's right. If you're if they're lagging at all. But yeah, that's pretty pretty amazing <laughs> oh, just yeah. to uh, watch. So yeah, I'd say success. We have success. We have success. Yep. We have success. <laughs>